one of the new features within Circus Pony's notebook that take it to a new level is the ability to actually write on your notebook itself, to either sketch, scribble, or even just doodle within your notebook pages. Now, the way you do this, you have to include a new icon within the toolbar, but if we just say view, customize toolbar, and then there's a new option here called ink, and we'll drag that onto the toolbar. We'll say done. And we now have this new ink icon. Now, there are three different types of mode under the ink option, and uh, you can get to those modes just by clicking on the icon. Now, if we go back to the mouse and just hold down on the icon, you can see all three there. So mouse, sketch, and write. If we go to sketch option first, that now turns your mouse pointer into a sketching tool. So you can use the mouse to actually draw diagrams directly onto the page. Now, under the ink icon option, there is also the ability to set your pen width and color. So if I wanted to have, say, a red pen, and I wanted it to be a bit thicker, we can just make it a bit thicker. Close that down. And now I've got a red pen that I can circle things on my page. And there we go. Now, the thing is with the mouse, it can be a little bit tricky with the mouse, but if you have a pen tablet connected to your Mac, uh, you can actually use that as well. Now, Mac OS X has some inbuilt technology called Inkwell, which is a support for pen devices and also supports handwriting recognition as well. And Circus Pony's Notebook version 3 fully supports pen tablets or pen devices connected to your Mac. So I've gone out and bought a very simple, very basic pen tablet uh, called the Wacom Bamboo One, which cost me actually about £35 or about $70, connected it via USB to my MacBook Air. Now, I'm actually controlling the movement of the cursor on screen now using the pen tablet, which can be a lot more accurate than the mouse. Um, but also, because this is a pressure-sensitive pen tablet, I can touch lightly on the pen tablet surface and draw these faint lines, or I can apply some pressure and draw a much more bold line. Uh, so now I can do things such as annotate the text. So if I want to just circle a word, I can just go in and accurately circle the word that I want. Um, I could even draw my own diagrams. Now, where having the pen tablet comes into its own is when you use it for handwriting recognition. And again, Notepads fully support handwriting recognition built into OS X. So if we go from the sketch option and let's go to the write option, You'll see the icon changed. We also have, you'll notice, show text interpretations checked as well. And I'll show you what that means in a second. Now, if we go ahead and just write something on our page. You'll see here that the interpret text has come up with the words hello and world. Now, the nice thing is that your handwriting has been recognized by the system, and those words will be entered into the index, both within your notebook and also within Spotlight. Now, if there is a slight error and you want to change it, you can actually make a selection just by clicking on the words and seeing the different options available.